talk about uh, artificial sweeteners, and this is kind of a hot topic right now. I've seen other people make comments discussing why they don't believe in artificial sweeteners. They don't believe in them, like the like the tooth fairy. <laughs> no, but they they don't. They they think you shouldn't use them. And one of the arguments given is that they contain maltodextrin, which means yes, there's zero calories per serving, but that all that means is there has to be less than one half, le less than half, I think, less than oh. half of one calorie per serving. Okay, so they do have calories, less than half one calorie per serving. So if you use, you know, 50 packets, you could potentially get up to 24 and a half calories, <laughs> which is, well, what, and you want... That's I, make or break you shit right well, there. Well, I realize you want to account for everything on a conscious prep, and you do, but the thing people don't realize is, you, you think every piece of meat you eat has the same percentage of, I mean, how, how much difference does body fat percentage vary in humans? You think cows are that dramatically different? I know you're, you, I know you're buying 93.7 lean beef, but do you think that butcher gets it 93.00% you know, lean every single time? No, it's as close as you can get, but it isn't dead on. Every piece of meat you get has more, less or more water. Every grain of rice you cook soaks more or less rice and most if you're measuring your rice after you cook it and it's soaked up a few extra droplets of of uh, water or how about your oatmeal most people weigh their oatmeal or measure their oatmeal before cooking you you have a, cu a cup of oatmeal do you think you have the exact same number of kernels of flakes of oatmeal every time every time you cook cook the oatmeal or do you think it soaks up so all these things vary by far more than a couple calories in a, in a given day far far more i mean just the the variation in, in in your meat if you if you're measuring eight ounces of meat and your scale is a is a tenth of a gram scale and you're and you're measuring 8.04 grams that's more variation than all the all the splenda you could eat in a day <laughs> and so essentially what you're doing is yes you want to track everything but what you're worrying about is similar to if you had a race car and you're taking it to the track and you put you know you you got a custom custom built block engine in it you you you, you, you got turbo on it you you upgraded everything upgrade the transmission you know build everything build it from the ground up and you're worried about what shoes you're wearing that day because you know some of your shoes weigh more than other shoes. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna affect your time at the track. It's how much horsepower you're, you know, what your launch time is like. Those are the things that are gonna affect you, not whether or not you're wearing the lightest shoes you own. And that's essentially what you're doing when you're, and you're over stressing and over worrying about things and, and the stress you're causing yourself by over worrying about little things like that is, is far worse in my opinion. And even worse than that, if having Splenda, having Crystal Light in your water keeps you from cheating even one bite of one meal over the entire contest prep, you're saving more calories. If you if you can't stand to drink any more plain water and all you want is a little bit of sweetness and you finally break down and you grab a handful of candy, yep. that's more calories than all the Splenda could have, you, you could have ever used and, and, and all the Crystal Light you could have possibly drank during your contest yeah. prep. Yeah. I mean, I understand like the last three days you know cutting that shit out a little bit yeah. sometimes it'll make you hold some water and things like that i don't even but for a whole contest crap well i don't even agree with that i mean i really don't agree with that because we just disagree we well, yes finally first time well we were at the arnold the night before the arnold and we, and we saw jose raymond drinking a a diet, a diet coke from the tap at the restaurant downstairs the night before an arnold you know the arnold yeah eating food that he had made at the restaurant you know and he's drinking diet coke straight from the waitress comes up and refills his glass you know, totally, totally not worrying. It's, it's the little things do add up, but you don't become a millionaire by worrying about how many pennies are in your pocket. You become a millionaire by doing the things that make you millions of dollars.